my name is Lindsay Ramage. I'm also known as the Bread Lady, and I'm here to tell you about a business my husband and I started in Keller, Texas called Fast Easy Bread. We teach people how to make bread start to eating in 60 minutes or less. And you take this dough and turn it into so many different delicious things. We've got pizza to show you how to make, and cinnamon rolls, and monkey bread. But today we're gonna start off by showing you the basic dough and it requires five basic ingredients, three of them that we sell in the homemade pizza and bread kit, and it's Saf Instant High Power Premium Yeast, liquid soy lecithin, and the pizza pasta seasoning that makes the perfect pizza sauce. But before we get started, I need to remember to put on my apron to keep myself clean. We sell these aprons on fasteasybread.com. I love this one, the Paisleys. Our mannequin's wearing the green polka dotted one, but if you check us out on fasteasybread.com, you'll see lots of choices. We've got aprons and rolling pins, but we also have the kit. And this kit will make 22 batches of dough that you can turn into 44 loaves of bread, 44 pizzas, cinnamon rolls for everyone. But we are gonna show you the basic bread dough and we need to preheat the oven to 350 and get started. Now we're gonna mix the dry ingredients. First dry ingredient that you want to pay special attention to is bread flour. My favorite is King Arthur bread flour, and it's five cups of bread flour. That's two, five. And your next dry ingredient is a fourth of a cup of sugar. And when using sugar, you can use white granulated sugar, brown sugar, Splenda, Truvia, Whatever you see fit, whatever you like to use. You can even use agave. Um, they're all a one to one ratio, meaning you use a fourth cup of any different type of sugar. Then you're gonna get your salt, and you do a teaspoon. Throw that in there. Then the ingredient that you purchase from Fast Easy Bread is the high power premium yeast you're going to want two tablespoons of high power premium yeast. And it comes to you like this in a brick. You just cut it so the vacuum seal comes out and you'll pour it into a Tupperware like this. And you're going to keep this in your freezer. I know that sounds different than most yeast you use, but it will extend the shelf life and keep it fresher. So you do two tablespoons of the yeast Toss that in the mixer. And now you're gonna mix up those dry ingredients. Just give it a good stir. And if you were doing this in a bowl, you would just mix all those dry ingredients together. And now, for one of the tricks, we're gonna show you how to add the lecithin without making a mess. So take your one teaspoon, you're gonna dimple the flour, just like this. And then you're gonna take your soy liquid lecithin and squeeze it into the dimples. This is a really good way to measure a teaspoon without having to put it in your teaspoon and making a mess with it. You squeeze it in, that's two little eyeballs staring at you. And now we're just gonna add the two cups of hot water into the mixture. And as it starts to mix, you'll see that you'll have some reserved flour. So I'm going to grab a little bit more water. It's about a fourth of a cup more of water. Depending on where you are in your climate, if it's really dry, you're going to want to sprinkle it around the edges just so the flour doesn't start puffing up too much. But the point of this is to get it so it's no flowers left in the bowl and you're trying to get it so you can hear this sticky noise and it's the dough pulling itself off the bowl. Just a little bit more. You can hear that once it's sticky like that. You're going to turn it up, let it mix for a few minutes and you're almost done. Get it out and shape it into your loaf of bread. Spray a circle of cooking spray. You're gonna shape the loaf into a nice ball. And remember, this is two loaves of bread, two large pizzas. 
If you have the recipe, you can make one, but when you're cooking for a crowd, I try to be efficient. So this we're gonna make half it and we're gonna make a loaf of bread and take this remaining part of dough for a little bit later to make a large stuffed crust pizza and make my husband and children happy. All right, to shape a loaf of bread, the easiest thing to do is get it in a rectangle shape and then you're going to curl the edges in and then roll from behind. And you're gonna roll it till you can get into a nice loaf shape looking ball of dough. And you're gonna get your pan and spray it with cooking spray. And then you're going to put your ball of dough or your loaf of dough and you'll spin it around once. And then you're gonna let this rise for 25 minutes. I like to put a bread cloth over it, keep it from drying out. Let it rise for 25 minutes and bake for 25 minutes and you'll have a delicious loaf of homemade fast easy bread. Alright, so now you're just going to bake it for 25 minutes. Set the timer and in 25 minutes you'll have homemade delicious fast easy bread warm and ready to devour. Alright, so it's been 25 minutes. We're going to take the bread, fast easy bread, out of the oven. Mm, doesn't that look delicious? And remember, if you keep your bread in the container as it's cooling off, it will get soggy on the bottom because the heat has nowhere to go. So always remember to pop it out of the container. And in a few minutes, you'll be ready to cut into this and ready to eat. Thanks for watching.